Right, so um, here, Marrakesh Airport. So just there is the exit. And as you head towards the sign and then come up the stairs, you'll come up to the taxi rank. So here there are proper taxis. Uh, you don't get the people who are at uh, the doorways saying, oh, taxi, do you want a taxi? Yeah. So it's, uh, it's best to come here. But my recommendation is um, download Kareem, uh, which is the same as Uber that they use um, the rest of the world, but they don't have Uber here or Bolt. They use um, uh, an app called Kareem. It's basically the same. Uh, you don't have to put your car details in with Kareem. That's a good thing about it. Uh, you can pay my cash uh, once you finish your ride. And uh, the other good thing is it's, it tells you exactly how much it's going to cost you from the offset. So unlike a taxi, you're not exactly sure how much it's going to cost you unless you do a deal beforehand, but you don't know if it's good or not. Now, for me, uh, it's, uh, for where I was staying, I was staying in the Medina and the Rehad. Cost uh, 40 dirham, so around about 40 dirham. Um, what, when I came, it was 44, uh, and when I've, um, I'm leaving now, it's 36. So it, it depends on the time of day as well. So obviously, um, the prices will vary. But you're looking at round about uh, not more than 40, uh, 50 dirham. My uh, accommodation was going to charge me uh, 150. So here we've got a taxi rank, um, and you can see the price there: 84 dirham for the petite, uh, which is basically like a small Clio uh, Fiesta type. And then you've got the Grand, uh, which is like an SUV type stuff. Uh, so you've got more people in there, but that seems to be quite a high price. As I said earlier, uh, I paid uh, 44 to leave the airport and just now I've paid 36. So that's double almost from what I was paying so use cream a lot better uh, and you know you're not going to be scammed <laughs>